Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this given trapezoid and moreover, the dimensions of the trapezoid are 14, 6 and square root of 65 as you can see in this figure. So before we get started, let's go over the definition of this trapezoid. A trapezoid is a four-sided flat shape that has a pair of parallel sides. And our given figure is an example of isosceles trapezoid. In an isosceles trapezoid, these two diagonals have always equal length. And here's the action plan that we are going to follow for this problem. Let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. And here's the area of a trapezoid formula. A equals to A plus B times H divided by 2. In our case, A is 14, B is 6, and we don't know the height H. So therefore, we are going to calculate the height H in our next few steps. And here's our very first step. Let's remove the shade of this given figure. And here is our naked trapezoid. And now let's go ahead and label the points. I'm going to call this point A, this vertex B, this vertex C, and this vertex D. And here is our nice looking trapezoid. And moreover, the length of this side AB is 14, the length of this CD is 6, and the length of this BC and AD is square root of 65. And in this next step, let's go ahead and draw the verticals from this point C onto this horizontal AB and likewise from this point D on this AB as well. So this is going to give us 90 degree angle and this is going to be a 90 degree as well. I am going to call this point E and this point F. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And now in this next step, let's focus on this rectangle C, D, E, F. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. So that means this side C, D is same in length with E, F. And we know that this side CD is 6 units. So therefore our side EF is going to be 6 units as well. And one more thing, since we are dealing with this isosceles trapezoid, that means this side AE is going to be same in length as FB. Now in this next step, let me go ahead and call this FB this length as an X and then this AE is going to be X as well. Then the total length of this side AB is going to be X plus 6 plus X. So therefore I can write this side AB equal to this line x plus 6 plus x but we also know that this total length of this side AB is 14 so therefore on this left hand side I'm going to replace AB by 14 and on the right hand side x plus x is going to become 2x plus 6 let's move this 6 on the other side so we got 14 minus 6 equal 2x and we got 8 equals to 2x. Let's divide both sides by 2. So x turns out to be simply 4. 
So x equal to 4 means that this side AE is 4 units and likewise this side FB is 4 units as well. And one more thing on this side, let's look at this thing, the length of this BC is square root of 65, just keep in your mind. Now in this next step, let's focus on this right triangle BFC. And here I have copied down this right triangle BFC. And this side FB is 4 units. This side, this longest leg is square root of 65. And we don't know this height altitude H. And since we are dealing with a right triangle, Therefore, we are going to use a Pythagorean theorem. And here's a Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, this side I am going to call A. This side I am going to call B. And this longest leg, C. And here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is 4. So this is going to become 4 square plus b in our case is h, so this become h square equal to c in our case is square root of 65, and then we're going to square it. So 4 square is 16 plus h square over here, this square and square root, they undo each other, we got 65. Let's move this 16 on the other side, so h square equal to 65 minus 16, so that means h square equal to 49. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to remove this square. So this h is going to become simply 7. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this trapezoid. a equal to a plus b times h divided by 2. We know our a is 14 b is 6 and h is 7. Let's fill in the blanks. So a equal to, in our case, a is 14 plus b is 6 times h is 7. Everything is divided by 2. So that's going to give us 20 times 7 divided by 2 is going to be simply a equal to 70. Thus, the area of the trapezoid turns out to be 70 square units, and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.